Hi, I'm Dennis Hillman. I want to explain to you today an exercise that you can do with a little device that I created that can really help you learn how to get into a dynamic position at the top of your backswing. It's one of the most important things to learn in golf, and I think a lot of people have difficulty understanding how to get into that position because there are different forces at work. We want a nice centered coil with the body, but we also want to maintain width and structure with the lever system, the arms and the golf club. And those, those forces aren't really working in the same direction, and I think it makes it a little bit difficult to grasp. So this is just a simple band as you'd find in any physical therapy office, and I attach the T on one end and a clip on the other. So the T goes into the, the hole in the butt end of the grip, and you push all the way down, and the, the clip, you just clip onto your belt buckle, okay, and you're connected. So as you can see when you set up, the butt of the club is only a few inches away from your belt buckle, and it's pointed right at it. What we want to do in the backswing is stretch the distance between those two points as much as possible. I believe that's what Ben Hogan did probably better than anybody. So a lot of average golfers, as they go back, they'll slide the hips, okay, slide the hips this way, and they don't get nice width, so you don't really stretch this band very much. Ideally, what we want to do is have a more centered turn you're going to feel right here that the band starts becoming taut. So as you can see, I have a center turn, and I keep this, these hands out away from me. Okay? So I have nice width and a good center rotation. You'll see I have a, a slant or a lean on the, the back leg, just like Ben Hogan did. Okay? This also gives you a sense of how to start the downswing. We'll, we want to even have a little bit more lateral movement, stretch the band even more as we start down. So it's really a great way uh, to work in the off season. If you don't have the flexibility to get into that position or anywhere near it, this can really help you learn how to get your body into that position in a golf specific way. Okay? And the best thing about it is you can go ahead and hit golf balls with it. Let me go ahead and demonstrate for you. So I'm going to take it back. I'm going to stretch here. So as you can see, the band doesn't interfere, you can go ahead and swing right through. So it's, it's just a great little exercise to get in that dynamic position at the top of the backswing, which is so important, and then you can go ahead and hit golf balls and from that position and get those repetitions in. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tune in to my website, DennisHillman.com, for more video tips and info on lessons at golf schools.